Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. Inspectors from the state engineer's office were in Carlsbad today inspecting the hole that four-year-old Samuel Jones fell into to find out exactly what it is and why it was there. Meanwhile, the medical investigator is still working to determine exactly how the little boy died. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is just back from Carlsbad. She is now live in Roswell. Kim, the state engineer's office regulates water wells that have been drilled after 1947, but today it found no record of this one, an indication that it was lightly, likely drilled before 1947. The well is now much bigger since crews spent 16 hours digging to reach Samuel Jones' body, which was recovered yesterday. Remnants of the original 14-inch wide, 32-foot deep hole can be seen as a small dark line on the back wall of the trench. State engineers determined this well was never finished, but it's unclear why, and it was abandoned and never filled in. State engineers say their jurisdiction is over the public waters of the state, and they don't have the authority to regulate the safety of wells on private property that have been abandoned. We also talked to city code enforcement officers who say they don't have anything on their books requiring regulation of old wells like this. At this point, Carlsbad police say they are not looking at any charges against the property owner. They are, however, appealing to the public to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. I mean, we would hope that people would, if they have any open, exposed holes like this, that they would, that they would get them taken care of. After the inspection, police gave the go-ahead for crews to start filling the well, and that could take a couple of days. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, police were also hoping to get a cause of death on Samuel by the end of the day. At this point, they have not gotten any results. Police did say his visible injuries were consistent with the fall.